hat and such fancy boots. Make way! It's the Puss in Boots and his master, the Marquise of Carabas. Marquise of Carabas? Who is he? <laughs> Come, let's see their story. Once in a far off land, there lived an old miller with his three sons. He had a mill, a donkey, and his dear cat. When the miller died, he left his mill to his eldest son, the donkey to his second son, and his dearest pet, the cat, to his youngest son, Pete. The mill and donkey were of good use to his brothers. But, what will I do with this cat? Anyways, our father loved him dearly. I must take care of him. Pete was a kind and hard-working boy, but to his bad luck, he could not find any suitable job to meet his needs. Nevertheless, he took good care of the cat. Soon, the cat began to love and trust his new and affectionate master. One day... Master, don't worry. Please trust me and we can turn our fortunes. Pete was surprised to see the cat speak. Master, now please lend me your boots, your hat, and that fancy bag. Trust me and please do as I say. I don't know what you're up to, but I will trust you. The cat wore the boots and the hat and ran off to the woods with the bag. He soon caught a rare rabbit from the woods. The cat ran to the king's castle and presented the rare rabbit to the king and the princess. Your Majesties, I am the Puss in Boots. I bring a small present from my master, the Marquis of Carabas. The king and the princess were very impressed with the present and the cat's mannerisms. The Puss in Boots continued to bring many gifts and presents to the king from the woods. The cat would amuse the king and the princess with many interesting stories and tales from far off lands. One day, the cat got to know that the king and princess would be riding out along the stream. The smart cat soon devised a plan. Master, let's go for a walk by the stream. When they were near the stream, It's so hot today. Master, why don't you take a swim in the stream? Soon, the king's carriage arrived on the road along the stream. The cat quickly ran to the carriage. Help! Help! Your Majesty! The thieves have stolen my master's clothes and our horses! The king presented some finest clothes to Pete. Pete looked like a handsome prince in such clothes. Your Majesties, please visit our castle with my master. The cat raced ahead to the green fields belonging to an evil and scary ogre. He struck a deal with the farmers who were tormented by the cruel ogre. Dear people, I am the Puss in Boots. My master, the Marquis of Carabas, will help us get rid of that evil ogre only if you do as I say. The king and the Marquis of Carabas will be here soon. Tell the king that these fields and castle belong to the Marquis of Carabas. Then the cat ran towards the castle to meet the ogre. Long live the Marquis of Carabas and the king. To whom do these fertile fields belong to? To our lord, the Marquis of Carabas, your majesty. By now, Pete is quite perplexed, but he trusts his cat with patience. Meanwhile, the cat presented himself before the ogre. 
Sir, I am the Puss in Boots. I come with an important message from the king, but I need to speak to you alone. Now, Quake, what does the king want? Sir, the king has heard about your rare abilities to change forms and is very much impressed with you. He wants you to marry his daughter, the princess, but... but... But what? Tell me quick, I want to marry the beautiful princess. But first, the king wants me to test your skills. <laughs> That's all? It's simple. No sooner had the ogre changed into a ferocious lion. <laughs> Okay, okay, I see that. This was easy. But can you change into a tiny mouse? Can you? <laughs> Silly cat. That's even more simple. As soon as the ogre changed into a tiny mouse, the cat pounced on it and gulped it down his throat. That was the end of the evil and cruel ogre. The servants at the castle were grateful to the cat for freeing them from the evil ogre. Listen, it was not me, but the brave and kind Marquis of Carabas that saved you from that ogre. He is our new master. Soon after, the king's carriage arrived at the castle. Glory to the Marquis of Carabas! Glory to the king! The king and the princess were quite impressed, and the king announces the wedding of the princess with Pete. Pete, the Marquise of Carabas, finally marries the beautiful princess. The Marquise of Carabas is kind and generous to his people. Pete, the princess, and the cat in the boots all lived happily together. Puss in Boots was so clever, just like me. <laughs> clever indeed. 